Hello there, this is Dr. Samurai, a professor in Japan specializing in international social pathology. And uh, this is my diploma with which I teach, still teach, at the college in Japan. And the topic of today's my minute lecture is Mr. Patrick Kearney. He is a uh, homosexual serial killer. At the age of 27, he started to live together with the younger boyfriend, Mr. David Hill. And they frequently had fights and quarrels. And whenever they had a big one, ran out, drove around, picked up hitchhikers, shooted them and killed them, and necrophiled, dismembered, and uh, cannibalized them. Not necessarily all the time, though. He used to be a highly trained mechanic for large-sized airplanes. His nickname is Freeway Killer or Trash Bag Killer. And now, let's talk about Mr. Patrick. Mr. Patrick was a thin and sickly boy, so he... Uh, easily became the target of bullying. Because of that, he was hooked in uh, killing pigs by shooting the back of their ears, which his father taught him how. At the age of eight, he already had desire to kill other human beings. He was uh, five, six, five, seven. I have said whenever they had a big fight, he uh, drove out his Volkswagen Beetle or his truck, picked up uh, hitchhikers or customers at uh, gay bars. And it is said that uh, he killed them first while driving his car by one shot like he did with pigs and even after they are dead he put the victim in a position of sit up like he is still alive and continued to drive his car to the area where there's no uh, people there he necrophiled and opened up the dead body and removed all the intestines and uh, inner organs and he dismembered the dead body by using a saw and those dismembered parts he threw them away and scattered them around you know once you hear necrophilia you uh, all you think about is how sick this person is, right? But uh, the reason why they go for necrophilia is they are scared of living human beings. And uh, I believe that comes from his childhood in which he was continuously bullied severely. I am pretty much sure he developed interpersonal fear from that. So, he killed the victim first to avoid a later danger. Although he pleaded guilty due to uh, evidences not fully satisfactory, he received uh, 21 life sentences at uh, Mule Creek State Prison in California. The last number confirmed he killed was 43. 40 and uh, from the age 37 to 80 he has been living in that prison 37 to 80 which is like longer than 40 years you know and he killed 43 people wait that means he has been in prison for 43 years at this moment accidentally and now I would like to get into uh, Mr. Patrick that I know. I casually contacted Mr. Patrick, you know, uh, 
I don't know why. He was not that extreme type I was looking for. But there must have been something that drove me to write a letter to him in his case. On the internet, there were many pieces of information that、uh, he was abused by both his parents. So I asked him, was that true? And he goes, that's totally wrong. He denied that fact of his parents being abusive. <clears throat> And、uh, even regarding serving、uh, 21 life sentences, what he says to me was, I didn't kill them at all, none of them, but、uh, I am serving this sentence for my boyfriend. That was his reply to me. And that Mr. David is perfectly free and innocent and released. But、uh, I kind of think, based upon the fact that、uh, at the age of eight, Mr. Patrick already had desire to kill other people, there must have been something before he was eight, right? So. Also, considering his father taught him how to kill pigs by shooting at the back of the ears and stuff, there must have been some kind of、uh, pressures and stresses at home. And、uh, listen to this most of those who were、uh, bullied in elementary school they were not prepared to、uh, mingle with other kids. That means They did not have appropriate communications at home. So, there must have been something was wrong, although he completely denies it. But remember, I am ruled to form human personality is how they were treated during the critical period, right? It is always difficult to know exactly what. Happened within the family during the critical period because it is a black box to outsiders. But、uh, to make inference on what happened based upon the situational information and find patterns in the childhood environment and、uh, later acts is one of my s p e c i a l i t y you know. And that is what I'm uh, uh, lecturing here. By the way, Mr. Patrick is a very intelligent, smart person. His IQ is 180, and which I personally believe, based upon what he writes to me and the way he writes to me, he speaks several languages and He one time was used、uh, to fix those electric lines of the whole prison. So he was freely, you know,、uh, moved inside the prison and even had his own desk at the CEO's room and stuff. He boasted. But I believe it was true. Because he is so intelligent, he is something like my tutor to me about American cultures, which. I do not know. Although I speak English, you know, you know, okay enough, I know many things that I do not know about American cultures that you know is a matter of course, you know. One thing he emphasized to me was having denied anything wrong during his childhood. His point was bullying could have. The same impact, psychological impact, on the personality formation. Like I said, he was thin and sickly and the perfect target for bullying. And I know it came from his own personal experiences. But、uh, still, I am rule of critical period still stands. Bullying happens at least after. Seven years old, because after they enter elementary school, right? But he already felt 
he wanted to kill other people at the age of eight. So that's that. I'm just, uh, you know, discussing this with you, okay? So I still believe there must have been something negative at home before they enter elementary school who get bullied at school. And uh, he also made a very interesting point, which I guess comes from his personal feelings and experiences. But uh, he said regarding psychopath that uh, although I said it's a emotional handicap in which they develop only uh, shallow emotions, isn't there any possibility that psychopath is more like too easily excited and occupied by his anger that he cannot think anything else does that make sense what i studied was like this shallow emotion you know even one book said uh, they don't sleep long they don't get surprised even hearing the big banging sound or they don't uh, smell so sensitively and stuff what uh, mr patrick suggested they psychologically overreact to something offensive to them and their emotion goes up this high and cannot think anything else anymore isn't that the mechanism of psychopath which i am still thinking about you know but uh mm, that is true too you know once they felt offensive they locked on that offensive person and pay back for sure they have that kind of characteristics but i am still thinking you know but anyway let me continue okay and uh, although he said uh, he hasn't killed anybody he had a strong interest in uh, uh, bestiality and cannibalism those two things in having sex with the animals and eating animal flesh are two major topics that he loves and he has interest in uh, mr issei sagawa a japanese cannibalist who killed and ate uh, pieces of uh, his uh, classmate in France when he studied for his doctoral degree. I personally think bestiality happens when there's no other human beings available like very, very rural, isolated area. And the kid reaches the puberty and stuff. And also my personal hunch is those who would like to eat other human beings is of course when they do not have anything to eat you know like those soldiers who are in jungle i hear they killed other soldiers and ate the flesh but also i personally believe if the person experienced high lack of oxygen when uh, you know, in their very early infancy or even when they were in process of uh, getting out of the mother's body, they could uh, develop a desire to want to eat the uh, human flesh. That's my own theory at this moment. I feel that way. But anyway, it's not proved, okay? But uh, it was still impressive that uh, he didn't sell his uh, boyfriend, David Hill. He might have done something too. Or didn't he? I don't know. But uh, he was 100% innocent and released completely free. And uh, Patrick is the only one serving the sentence. Or maybe it was only him who killed in the middle of uh, high anger that comes from heated uh, argument with David. Like Patrick himself said. He was taken away by anger. One thing though, I think I should mention here is empathy, which means sharing the same feeling with others and understanding what the others are feeling, right? That comes from many times of communications 
and uh, enough love they received during a critical period, right? But uh, intelligence, that doesn't need human communication. They can focus on reading and writing. Rather, not spending much time with others can provide more time to study, right? So, I think there is a general tendency that highly intelligent person has relatively lower empathy towards others. And that is why, you know, all the uh, group that happened in Japan, the members of that group were all highly educated from the top-notch universities and medical schools. But the reason they were taken in by an intelligent guru who didn't even uh, go to college is that although they were intelligent in terms of understandings and knowledge, they did not have heart. They had hollow heart, emptiness, big hole in their heart. And that the Asahara, the guru, could tell very easily from outside. And they manipulated it, you know? So we have to be very careful when we raise kids, you know? Intelligence does not necessarily mean he or she is fully stable and uh, developed uh, necessarily emotions to live happy lives. I would like to wrap this up by saying one thing. Although he is already 80, you know, him being 80 years old, and I think he's now in the wheelchair, he said to me. So he is the only one who flatly denied meeting each other long, long time ago. So I guess uh, being the homosexual and stuff, he didn't want to show me not perfect shape him, which he was when he was younger, I think. This is all for Mr. Patrick, and I hope I gave you some little information that touches you. Okay, up until next time. Please have a wonderful time, okay? Bye-bye.